everybody it's Courtney so um, this is a little close up it's just because I left my oops cover the camera I left my tripod over at the uh, milk house for um, some recording a little bit later but I wanted to pop on here um, and explain kind of what happened with Feline really quickly um, you'll hear some kids screaming in the background um, I went ahead and let everybody out and let everybody stretch their legs. I even went ahead and let Feline out into the um, main little area for the maternity ward so she could stretch her legs as well. She's been cooped up. Um, and I do plan on building her pen out into um, the little paddock area, but I just haven't gotten to it just yet. So um, basically, I will flip you around here. Um, we got one of her kids in here. The other one escaped. Um, so I'm sure she'll figure it out and she'll come back to mom. Um, but let me flip you around and show you what we got going on. She's doing wonderful. Um, I know I said I was gonna do a updated video. I just have been so busy and haven't gotten to it. So there's a couple of other things that um, need to be addressed as well. So uh, one sec here and I'll get you flipped around. Okay, so because she is skittish, um, she's gonna stay as far as from me as possible. Um, but we will be changing her cast um, again. So once I get that changed, we'll probably do it later tonight. Um, and then she should have a bigger area to kind of roam in. Um, but she's doing fantastic. So basically what happened is she broke her leg going up and over one of the pallet rack panels. Um, and she broke it right at the joint. Um, and basically what happened was um, she's kind of torn or pulled some ligaments as well. So the vet said that she should have eight weeks in the cast and then um, with weekly changes and then she should um, be good. Hi. All the little babies are all acting super skittish but it's just because they're just so spunky. Um, the little sister to him is actually way out there. <laughs> so basically they're getting through these cattle panel holes and then you just go in and out. So what I'll do is um, grab out of my pile. I've got a pile of the pallet rack um, sections right there. And then I'll just go across here with it temporarily like I have along there. And then they won't be able to get through the holes. That's my temporary situation until I figure out something else. Um, I have an idea, but it's just going to take a little bit of work to get it done. And I don't want to use chicken wire because I absolutely hate it. But I have some, like, old welded wire. And what I have done in the past on a different section um, is I'll go up about two and a half feet or so with it and go across. And then um, the little kids can't get through the welded wire. But she was one that would go through the holes. So that's what she's thinking she can do. Hi, little Feline. Hey, sweet baby. So she's doing great. Um, milking wise, I do plan on starting to milk um, tomorrow will be the first milk day and I'll be milking um, once a day and separating kids over that period of time. Her, I will not be milking just because of the cast situation um, because my milk house is all the way over there. So I have to take the does from this pen over to there um, every time I wanna milk. And I just don't want her to have to walk that far with the cast cause she, um, she'll get tired and she'll start to kind of drag her back leg. So uh, she will just be, for now hanging out in here and feeding her kids um and then we will be milk testing her i just won't start that until um the cast is off i think that's when i'll be able to start so a little bit later 
in her lactation, but we'll get it done. She's doing great. She moves in it perfectly fine. Um, she'll try to move away from me here in just a second. She definitely can move and she's gonna go hide in there. Um, so she's doing good. If you have any questions or anything like that, um, feel free to ask. Um, but that's pretty much explains the whole story that she decided to jump over a pallet rack and she decided that she was going to break her leg. And she's in no pain whatsoever. She's done fantastic. Um, hopefully when we get her on a milking schedule, uh, she won't be as skittish anymore. That's what I'm hoping. So right now we'll just go ahead and let her hang out and do her thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and let her hang out here and uh, stretch her legs, enjoy herself, let her kind of roam a little bit. And um, her little doling is out there just hopping around with the other little baby goats. Um, so she's enjoying her little life. It's super cute. This is the first time that the little goats have actually been out and they haven't been with um, the other babies yet either. So um, she's gotten head butted a couple of times out there, but that's gonna happen. Um, she's just out there bouncing around and enjoying herself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the milk house and we are going to kind of rearrange that and I'll show you what I um, have coming up for that. Okay, so we are over in the milk house. Um, I got a couple goats in here, so you'll probably hear them walking around because they know that there's grain in here. So basically, let me just raise you up here. Um, what are you doing? Get down. So I decided to kind of rearrange and then um, my work had this lovely little like cupboard. Um, not a dresser it's kind of like a cabinet I don't know if it'd be like a buffet type thing that's got three drawers on top three little cabinets down below or doors um, so that I'm actually going to stick right here so I had um, I don't know if that's joy toys over there trying to get the grain left left in there so I had my milk machine which is right here I had this sitting here, and then um, I had a uh, step stool thing down there that I had the pump on. And this was kind of what was going to be my new way of doing things. Um, but I decided I seen this at work and we replaced um, where this was at with something else. So I was able to snag this and bring this home dorks and um I think it might be a little bit hard to show but I'll try so basically what it is is this right here so it's got three drawers and then it's got doors with a shelf under there um and that is what I'm going to move to this side over here and these guys are ridiculous. Um, we might have to figure this out. Otherwise, they're going to be annoying. So, for now, so much going on today. It's crazy. Um, I, I have everybody coming. Look, they're all like, what's going on? Yay. Welcome, goats. What's come in. I can fit all of you in here. Y'all don't need to be in here. Okay. Well, I don't know how well this is going to go. So I've got to do some rearranging um, and hopefully they aren't in my way too much. Eventually they'll go out um, as I kick them out. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to start by unscrewing this and then um, we're going to move this and I'll probably still use this Shelby. I'll probably just put it somewhere else, but for now I'm just going to take it out. Can you guys move? Go. Okay. Let's go 
go ahead and unscrew this and get going. pieces so for now I'm just gonna shove this somewhere else okay and I gotta take down this little board here hopefully I have the same bit Don't want to lose any screws. I don't want them ending up in a goat hoof or the bottom of my shoe. So I'll set that in the cabinet. And then, no, out. 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 It's like I need a baby gate. I need a child gate right here. Okay, move that big old drum out of the way. And then, let's see if I can <laughs> get a different view here. Okay, so now that I have this cleared off, I'm hoping this won't be in the way. I don't know. I'll have to unscrew that a different way. Woo! It's a tight space in here. They're looking at me like, lady, let me in. I am gonna have to move this because um, it's in the way of this. Because I want. Okay, I came back with what I needed. Sorry, you see like the corner of my face. Hopefully, this will work. done. Um, oh gosh, Feline's little doe is chasing another doe. Um, I 
thinking it's her mom, <laughs> but it's not. Okay, we got this, I think, in place. I hope it's in place. Okay, so what I think I want to do, because um, I have a grain bin that I want to put where the camera is currently sitting. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is push this over to line up up against there. And that should be um, okay. And then I should have this little space in between here for um, my grain that I'll put inside of there. Bucket there. Okay, so um, I got this where I want it. And so now we just got to move the um, milk machine over onto here. And then we'll go ahead and put some things um, down below. So I have to figure out where to put this. Um, I can't put it back in that corner because I have my ring up up to the milk, uh, milk stand. So that has to stay open back there. But over here, I have this area that I am going to clean up. Um, and I'm going to see if I can put the cubicle under the milk stand. We'll see. I don't entirely know yet. Because I also have these bins. I need a bigger milk house. Yeah. I want to make sure that this area is kind of ready because um, I start milking tomorrow morning. So I want to get power here. I want to make sure the milk machine is up and running. Make sure I like how everything's hanging. Um, and just make sure everything flows well. So crossing my fingers um, that this goes easily today. So what I think I'm going to do is take the screw out of this and tuck it up there. I don't need this for any reason, I don't think, so I'm going to toss this just outside for right now. And then I'm going to move my big grain bin. here so that's where that's gonna set that holds my um, alfalfa pellets okay let's see Ooh. this sure needs a dusting it's gross really gross. Um, we're going to move the milk machine over to its home.
Okay, so um, what I've got going right here is going to be basically my buckets of milk supplies that I put away um, when we're done milking. Um, so I'll just kind of go through this real quick with you and show you what I have in here. I'm pretty sure I have everything in here. Um, if I don't, I know there's probably a couple of things missing, but they're gonna be in the house, so that's fine. First off, um, I've got a little, oh man, I think this is like a one quart, tiny little stainless steel bucket. Um, next is a lemon kid bottle. Uh, I also have milk filters. So these, you find these everywhere. If you have children, you will find Nerf bullets in every crevice, crack, and cranny. It's ridiculous. So there's that. <laughs> okay. Next up is these buckets. So what I do with these buckets are because I don't have water out here, after I'm done milking, I need to clear out those lines. So I use a bleach solution and then I also use a hot water solution um, with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. The bleach solution, I barely use any bleach. It's like not even a cap full. Um, and then the Dawn dish soap, I just do just a tiny squeeze of it and then fill these pretty much. Um, I don't fill them all the way, but I probably fill them about to the six quart mark. Um, and then I bring them out here with me in the morning, use hot water. And um, this one is my bleach. So I mark this off with just a piece of duct tape. So I know that this is my bleach and then this is my soapy hot water. And then um, here's my little strainer deal. So I bought this off of Amazon and it came with this little piece, this little strainer. So I've got quite a few, these are half gallon jars in here. And then I've got my big um, gallon jar. This is the milk jar for the milk machine. So this is what all the milk goes into. I can also hook it up to one of these as well if I don't want to dirty up this guy. Um, but I just don't have a lid for the big one. So um, if I'm transporting milk back and forth from the house, I like to put it in here because I have lids for these. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, um, ring the notification bell to be notified when I put out another video. Um, I'm gonna really try and do at least one video a week 
whether it is um, with the goats or whether it's making soap. Um, if I can get two videos out, then I definitely will. Um, but just keep an eye out and, um, and enjoy your goat lives. I love kidding season. These guys are super sweet. I'm so excited to be keeping the ones I am. I wish I could keep them all, but I can't. So um, until next time, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And she's ready for bed. Bye.